Hello, my name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we are going to talk about writing a novel. Now, this is more of a beginner's um, kind of tips and tricks. Now, I will also say even though this is for beginners, this is this is also for people who are serious about trying to finish a novel and trying to get it published and get it out into the world. Now, my first novel, More Than a Vampire, was published last October and I am currently um, getting ready to publish my next book this week uh, which is more than a gunslinger and I will have my third book published next October so in my first year I will have three uh, books published technically um, and the biggest thing I did a lot of research probably like you're doing right now um, on, you know watching videos on YouTube and I just wanted to kind of give you a beginner's guide of the most you know things that have worked the best for me to get you quickly on track without a bunch of this you know other stuff and once you get going um, you can go into even you know some more in-depth stuff but first and foremost you need to start with a daily goal and you have to write every day if you write 300 words a day I know I know writing a novel is a, it's a big thing it is and it seems big but if you can write 300 words a day you will have yourself a full-length novel you know a hundred thousand word book in one year and that's if you only write 300 words a day. Now, if you're just starting off, things may seem overwhelming if you're not used to writing. Set your goal at 100 words a day. Write every single day for a week or two weeks and just force yourself, you know, at some, you know, get those words in. And then you'll see you'll see how easy it is once you're used to the process of writing a hundred words a day it's really nothing then you can bump it up to 300 and then maybe you get up to 500 or a thousand words a day now you're probably thinking the same thing that I was thinking is like who has time to just sit there and write for however many hours a day it takes to get out a book now what I did you know I I'm not the fastest writer in the world you know some people think well oh, you're you're getting out you're writing multiple books a year it's like well how do you write so fast I don't I just write every day I stay consistent but what you can do and this is you know a big tip is use your phone what you have in your pocket use Google Docs Google Docs can transition if you have an Android phone I'm sure there's a equivalent on Apple but use Google Docs it translates from your phone to your tablet to your computer anytime you you know you have an idea pull that phone out get a few words in you know, don't want to be crass, but you're going to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, everybody has their phone with them. Get in the words. You know, as well, as long as you're paying attention, you're walking down the hallway. Get those words in. Um, and another great tip that's worked well for me, you know, especially in the past, is use the voice to text, the dictation uh, that's on there with Google. You know, if you know if you're in the car and you can't be typing hit the button it'll record your voice you know if you're like me I like to walk around 
you know, when I'm in my house, you know, I'll use the dictation software. And if it's, you know, it's not perfect, so you might have to go back through and, you know, clean it up a little bit here and there, but it makes things so much faster. And like I said, using your phone, you can go through the day and get a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. And at, by the end of the day, you'll see that those words have stacked up. And you can get a novel finished faster than you might imagine. Now, another thing I will, you know, tell people is you, you know, some people want to wait for the muse to come and that is a recipe for failure or a recipe for a long drawn out process. If you just start writing the muse, the muse will follow. Um, so, um, like I said, this is a more of a beginner's, you know, tutorial. And one thing that a lot of beginners get caught up in is the plotting trap. They watch a lot of videos where people tell them you have to plot out everything before you start writing. And once everything's plotted out, you can write a lot faster. Well, that's a way to get yourself bogged down. What you need to know is your character or characters. Once you have those, what type of world? You don't need to know everything about the world. What type of world are you making? And then from there, make five to 10 bullet points of places your character or characters need to go or people that your character or characters need to meet. That way you can break this big novel down into small sections. Get from first point to second point, then you're done. Then you go to the next point and so on and so forth. Now, once you get more, you know, more into writing and you're deeper into this, there, you know, there are a lot more detailed things, but these are the base of what will get you through and actually get a novel written. Now, if you are just starting out, um, let me know what you're doing. Let, you know, so, you know, make sure you're subscribed, comment, let me know um, what you're doing that's working, what you're doing that isn't working, or if you have any questions for me. Um, like I said, this is a beginner video, but if you have more detailed questions, um, let me know and I will be glad to help, um, you know. So, you know, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.